The summer of 2015 in the Tampa Bay area has been a rough one for Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets? Ah, uh, just throw some diesel gasoline on them suckers and light them on fire. No! Don't throw any kind of fuel on the nest and light it on fire. What is this, 1915? This is Dusty Showers with Creepy Creatures and it's been a bad year for Yellow Jackets here in the Tampa Bay area. And I just wanna show you a little bit about how Yellow Jackets are and what can happen when you stumble upon a nest. Now, if I wasn't suited up, it's possible that I could have over a hundred stings of these guys. And yes, it's absolutely possible to die from stings from Yellow Jackets. The last thing that you wanna do is stumble on one of these nests and you never wanna to try to take care of one of these things by yourself unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Oh, and I've got one inside. Here's something pretty cool. This yellow jacket has its stinger stung in my glove, but you can see he's still trying to fly away. They never give up. So let's see what happens when we really stir him up. Here they come now. Look at them pouring out of there. I've dealt with yellow jackets enough to know that if there's the smallest place for them to get in, they're gonna get in and they're gonna sting over and over. These guys are all over. I can hear them buzzing. I can hear them pinging off my bee suit. Really get your adrenaline going. Don't ever try this on your own. And I've got one inside. I told my daughter and trusty assistant Tegan that we had to check my wrists and my ankles really close because if there's the smallest place for them to get in, they're going to get in and they're going to sting me. Ah, they're finding their way inside. <laughs> and somehow, one found its way in, then another, then another. I never expected there to be a hole in my bee suit. And then I realized I have a spaz dog that was jumping on my bee suit in the back seat of my truck. Oh, so you're gonna blame it on me, Dad? Um, not you, her. Yeah, you're the culprit. Blue's always the culprit, Dad. You're a good boy, Pink. Don't try yellow jackets on your own. got stung there and there and there and there and there <laughs> and it looks like your eyes swollen shut yellow jackets bald face hornets and even paper wasps all have a place in nature by the way mud daubers and paper wasps are very non-aggressive the other ones if they're too close they can cause serious issues but if they're off on their own just let them be. Depending on where you live, you may also see nests in trees that are kind of shaped like a volleyball. Those are bald-faced hornets. Bald-faced hornets will get you. They're great insects to have around, but you don't want to be too close to them. They can be highly aggressive and they will sting. Don't mess with these guys on your own. Luckily, this nest was not that big, but if it was a large nest, I could have had hundreds of stings on my head. If this had been a big nest, I could have absolutely been killed. Ow! Ow! Yellow jackets, no bueno. In the north, most yellow jacket nests are inside walls and ceilings, and they eventually break into homes where you can get hundreds of them inside your house. In the south, most yellow jacket nests occur in the ground. The largest one I've ever dealt with was six feet by six feet and two and a half feet deep. That's a big yellow jacket nest. And I had one in a hollow tree that was 10 feet high. The nest, yes, 10 feet high from the ground up the tree, the middle of the tree. It was awesome. Yeah, I got stung on that too. And remember, always be kind to possums. Yeah, I said possums, they're awesome. That's right. This is what I mean. See, why, what, you, seriously? You ripped apart a 20, this is why I don't leave you in my truck. I'm not yelling at you, I'm yelling at her. How? Why? You you literally tore my money up. You tore my money up. Jeez, Blue. God, I swear I'm trading you in for a cat. A cat? Did you say cat, Dad?
Sit, possum. Sit. Good possum. <laughs>